In this SciZ review, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about SciZ. SciZ is a software that allows you to convert mobile app designs to React Native code in one click. Now, once you get taken to the main page, you can see right here, you've got your name, your projects, um, and community, and academy as well. And you've got import from Figma and a new project as well, and some template options. So there's quite a few things here that are available for you. And we'll get into them in a little bit. They seem complicated. It seems like there's a lot of things to get right, but it's quite understandable once you get the hang of it. So you can create a new project by clicking on this, but we already have some projects here. But essentially, if you just clicked on new project, you'll instantly be taking to a, a mobile screen page as we're essentially trying to design the screens for our mobile app. So here we are with this page right here. And it's just a blank page we have for us, you know. Again, this is what a mobile screen would look like, just a blank page at first. There are a lot of features we have to edit this and we'll get into them. So first of all, you can have more than one page as well. You got your first page and your splash page and you can add multiple pages through this little button here as well. So you can have different design pages for your mobile application. Then you go into presets. Now presets, this is really interesting. You have a bunch of different features of the page that you can edit, but they're all created for you. So you don't have to start from scratch in designing the, the main page. So you click this and you've got this button right here. Now you can make this button for whatever you want. If you want to encode uh, a feature through this button, you know, you click on this and it takes you to this, then that's how you do it right there. You can add columns as well, just click it. And right there, you have two columns. If you want people to fill in something or you want to list some sort of information within it, and you can have text as well with a nice text block. So we've got this block right here. And what we can do, you can edit this as well if you want to, you know, just again, just, you know, make it as, as big as you want, as small as you want. You see the transformation tools right here. It's got some good text editing features. So you've got the x-axis, y-axis, and again, you can fill it in black or any other color if you want to. The, the font size, we can make the font size. Again, <laughs> we have 90 right there, so you can pretty much just mess with that. We'll keep it as 20. And again, just to confirm that width again, sort of block rather than just the text itself. So then you've got the line height as well and the pro display. And just again, if you want it centered or you know on the right or left of alignment on the page. And again, you have all these words right here. So again, you can embolden or underline it. And yeah, and resize if you want to. So those are some good features you can do with the texting as well. Got some good actions. And if you have a CMS list, you can create a collection too. And that's just texting. You can add a CMS list if you want to as well. If you had that collection, just, yep, you put it right there. And you got some bars as well you can add on. So you got a nice bar for likes, you know, uh, as well for labels. Essentially, if you zoom in and it'll say labeled one, two, three, four, five. And you've got some controls as well. Add a switch. You know, if you want to mess around with that switch, you know, and you want to encode users an ability to click on it and, you know, turn something on or off or switch on and off a certain project, you can do that quite well. And again, once you go into this, you can mess around with the border of the actual button as well. And the color will be, again, the auto layout, you know, and it's a similar thing to the texting tool as well, where you can just sort of add in or edit the, the features of the text. And it won't look too dissimilar, essentially, and especially this switch is main text itself. But the button, again, you can mess around with and, you know, add any sort of fillers or borders if you want to, or shadows as well if you want to. Now, we're just going rid of all that, again, just because it's a bit messy and we're going to we're just gonna add some new things again, just so the screen doesn't come chock full of different features. So we just have controls and we're gonna go down to media again. And here you can add different media links or videos through this box right here. Right now we have YouTube. So if you add a YouTube media link, you know, you put that in and there'll be a code for that, you know, once you get to developer mode and it'll get straight in. And once again, the editing features are pretty standard. You can edit the width, the height, the, the radius, and the fill as well. Again, the shadow and border too. 
So again, the width is at 375, the height is at 217, and you can do it different ones as well. So you got this video right here too, but we'll get we'll get rid of we'll get rid of those. Again, just showing you can edit so the page doesn't become too full. Then again, you know you can add different icons as well. So we've got the star icon right here. So again, different media outcomes. You know you can have a GIF as well if you're a fan of GIFs and if you like utilizing GIFs in your in your videos or you know in your applications things are a bit more holistic a bit more fun and friendly to get people to join you then you can definitely do that through here and again that's your sample image too as well you can add this is a nice sample image almost like a logo you can put on this as well so that's quite cool and we'll just get rid of that then you have your utility as well and so we can add some your contact right here and we can move that in. See, this is what I mean. It's going to go all the way outside of the box because too many things. But again, if you have some utility lists, you know, you want people to, to have a button to put their contacts in or to find their contacts. It's easy to put it right here and naturally can edit all the different borders and heights and widths again. And yeah, it's really useful to have a lot of features, a lot of useful features to have to edit your main page. And I think that's really quite interesting. And again, right, likewise, you can just go off of these if you don't want to. You can see all the options and buttons you have available for you. Now, on the actual page itself, you can add your own text if you want to as well. Put some text there. Add your own pictures if nothing here is suitable. Again, we don't have any pictures to add, but again, you can do that as well. Move around different things, drag them, and onboard in the underlying text and different features with this too. And then there's just a natural editing. So again, you can do things within this page if you don't want to use any of the buttons provided there. And again, you have coding here. If you are a good coder, if you understand how to code effectively, you can get in and import and embed your own buttons and your own features and actions within this page as well. And make these buttons work properly so this is editor mode you go into developer mode as well and that's where the code comes up as well and you have the different layers of each of the codes you know the giphy the image the contacts you can code them to make them work properly so again you can also you can see the layers right here the layers are also set here as they did with the code but this time you're seeing it through the editor mode rather than developer mode and then you can either import something from Figma, but you need a Figma account, but you know, you can connect again through another software. So integration is a good feature that's promoted on this. And you can download code if you want to, to import into this as well. Then you can publish. So essentially, it'll, once you get the coding sorted and merge with your designs, you'll be able to publish it to the App Store with Apple and the Google Play Store as well. So that's quite cool that you can do that just through this as well. And you can play with the app as well if you want to. <laughs> you can see the preview of the app. It's not gonna be anything great. You know, this is just generating the code for you to make everything work. It's not necessarily gonna work as we haven't actually, you know, really, really gone in to design it efficiently and effectively as it's just review purposes. But again, you can preview it and, you know, you get a QR code and see how it all works. Then you go back to main page and you have community as well. And again, you've got community launch screens for developers. You know, they've, they've got templates for you. People have made different things they can use. Again, people are really creative with this and, you know, you don't have to start from scratch on your own. So it's just quite useful to have. Then you've got the academy as well and you can learn how to code with this and utilize size e very well overall size e is very useful very intuitive as well i can really recommend it once you get the hang of it and the designs and the coding it's really easy to use and i think it's a nice way to create a beginner's application to post it at app store google play thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave a comment below and i'll provide a discounted link so you can get your money's worth thank you for your time